you, Caroline. The latest developments now, as we've been reporting all day long, in Battle State Senator Nicholas Kettle has resigned. It comes just days after he pleaded not guilty to extortion charges and days before an expulsion hearing was slated to take place at the State House. And tonight, a local government watchdog group is weighing in on how a situation like this one at the State House could be handled moving forward. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is in the newsroom now with that part of the story. Steph? Nicholas Kettle is no longer a senator. He handed in his resignation amid plans to expel him from the Senate, a procedure that was about to be used for the first time. His name scraped off the door, his belongings packed up. Senator Nicholas Kettle tendered his resignation with a letter hand delivered by one of his attorneys. It was one day after Senate leaders filed legislation to expel him from the Senate. It would have been the first time in recorded state history. This situation could happen again. John Marion from Good Government Group Common Cause Rhode Island says now that expulsion has been avoided, lawmakers should adopt rules for the next time. Uh, we're very interested in in how the process plays out up here uh, and what we discovered is they were sort of making up the process as they went along. The Rhode Island Constitution clearly states the House and Senate can expel members with a two-thirds majority, but it doesn't say how or what sort of behavior is worthy of expulsion. It's clear they hadn't thought about how they were going to come to a conclusion. Marion says some states have a committee that investigates and then publishes a report recommending for or against expulsion before a vote actually happens. In this case, Kettle was facing serious charges, including a grand jury indictment of allegedly extorting a Senate page for sex back in 2011. Both Democrats and Republicans agreed he shouldn't return from the winter break, citing concerns for the existing student pages at the State House. But the ACLU sent a letter urging lawmakers to slow down the expulsion process so they didn't set a hasty precedent. If you have a good process, a transparent process in place, then people aren't going to raise those questions like they did this time. And the Senate president said he was grateful that Kettle resigned rather than put the Senate through the expulsion process. Kettle's attorney says he did not resign for that reason, but rather so he can focus on defending himself against the criminal charges. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.